On October 27, 1962, a Soviet Foxtrot-class B-59 nuclear-powered submarine was spotted by U.S. Navy destroyers and an aircraft carrier in international waters within close proximity to Cuba amid the Cuban Missile Crisis. To get the submarine to surface so it could be identified, the U.S. Navy began dropping signaling depth charges. The B-59 was undercover and had been out of connection with Moscow for days because she was too far under the water to utilize the radio. The submarine's captain, who thought that a war could be currently taking place, made the choice to fire a nuclear-tipped torpedo, but the move needed the total agreement of the three highest-ranking officers on board. Vasily Arkhipov, the flotilla commodore and executive officer of the submarine, expressed opposition to the launch, which had been approved by the captain and the political officer. Vasily resisted and awaited Moscow's instructions. The B-59 was forced to surface when her batteries ran extremely low, and while being followed by U.S. warships, she contacted the destroyer USS Corey DD-817. The Russian fleet later gave her the order to head back to the Soviet Union. 